This is Calvin Ranks. Now, Calvin, in between us, we've got the Saturday Social Whiteboard with a number one to three. I've got a list of categories. Now, you're going to rank them with number one being the best. Are you ready for this? I think so. <laughs> OK, first up, it's a tricky one. We've got GOAT midfielders, Zinedine Zidane, Andrea Perlo and Andres Iniesta. For me, Zidane, Perlo and then third, Iniesta. It's a tough category to start with. Yeah. Uh, why is Zidane for you as number one? I think just growing up and... You know, watching a lot of Zidane's clips on YouTube yeah. and stuff, he's always been a midfielder that I've admired the most. I think for me, he just sticks out as, you know, the go out of them three. And the Yorkshire Perlo, is that, you, do you feel like you have to put him high up because of your nickname? Nah, I think, <laughs> you know, Perlo, is an, he was an unbelievable player, wasn't he? And yeah. Well, above Iniesta, I was surprised with. I know, uh, you know what it is? It's just because the Yorkshire Perlo thing played a little bit. Yeah. But I think he's just my type of player, like he yeah. played in my position, he was a lot. Not similar to me, but like loved getting on the ball and spraying passes about and stuff. Yeah. So next one we go a bit rogue with. Obviously, you're from Yorkshire, <laughs> so we've got three famous things from Yorkshire: Yorkshire tea, Yorkshire pudding, and a Yorkshire terrier. Yorkshire tea is the number one. You love Yorkshire tea, you don't you? You want to know why? Go on. If I went anywhere in the world, yeah, if they didn't have a Yorkshire tea, I wouldn't drink tea. But really? If, so you wouldn't have another no, brand of no. tea? It has to be Yorkshire I'd have to, tea. If I was going all day, if they didn't have Yorkshire tea, I just wouldn't drink it. <laughs> okay, fair but, enough. I was thinking, if I went anywhere in the world and there was a Yorkshire pudding, yeah. I'd be able to eat it because it's Yorkshire pudding, right? <laughs> OK. So, Yorkshire pudding's going down so there. I love the reasoning for this, by the way. And I love dogs, so... You do? Yeah. The disrespect to Yorkshire pudding, nah, by the way. You know I what I mean? Yorkshire pudding. I'm just not allowed to eat that much of them. Right, next up, we go to Premier League midfielders. Rice, Rodri and Caicedo. Hey. <sighs> I think that speaks for itself. Yeah. Should he win the Ballon d'Or for you? I think so. I yeah. think he deserves to win the Ballon d'Or. He's done everything that you could possibly do yeah. to win the Ballon d'Or. So. Second. Yeah. Second, my boy. I know, a man that you speak very highly of on yeah, and off the pitch. Obviously, had that great relationship with him, uh, with England. I yeah. know that you two love each other. He famously mm. presented you with the England yeah, player yeah, yeah. of the year. So, talk to me about Deck and how good he is. No, nah, Deck's unbelievable. Um, obviously, when I first trained with him at England, I could tell like he was just, he was the player that was going to go. Straight away? Yeah. yeah. You can tell. He's crazy. He's hard to understand. He's hard to tell. Go on, I'm intrigued He's hard by to that. tell you because I think he was the first game out.
changed his no. mind. Okay, you're going Cole Palmer 2. Yeah, I've gone for Cole Palmer 2 because, again, very similar to Phil. Mm. So I trained with him a lot at City. Mm. Obviously seeing him get the chance at Chelsea and you know take it by the scruff of the neck. Yeah, I'm really I love Cole right. as well because he's just he's just so laid back, so chilled yeah. and you know he's, he's very funny as well. So yeah, and then and Bukai, he Saka in three. I know <laughs> he's gonna hate me for this as well, but Bukayo's probably been the most consistent I'd say out of these. Three, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the years, you know, hopefully, you know, this year we can show. Mm. Again, his consistency and have a really good season, and you know I think he will do as well. And he's a lovely kid as well. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people say that. We're talking about England here. How big of an ambition is that for you to get back in the England squad? Yeah, massive ambition. Obviously, I was devastated to miss the last Euros, um, but I understood obviously the reason why I missed that because I've not played for such a long time. And yeah, for me, it's just about getting back, enjoying my football. Been difficult because you, know, you kind of not lose the fire, but you know the fire goes after so long. You know, of wanting to, you know, go out there and do your best all the time. Um, but recent, since I've been here, I've obviously found it, you know, a lot easier to go out on the training pitch and the pitch and you know try and perform as well. So, got a bit of fun with this one. Famous Calvin's. We didn't put you in this category because I didn't want to put yourself in here. But we've got Calvin Harris, Calvin Klein, and Calvin Cordoza. Brodus Jr., which is the real name of See, Slim I never dog. knew this. Did you know neither did I? I'm not going to lie. I didn't have a clue that he was called Calvin. <laughs> we were trying to find another Calvin. But for me, he's going to have to. be number one, isn't it? got to be Snoop Dogg. He's going to I'm after. glad you put that there. Um, Calvin, Calvin Harris. Harris. And then Calvin Klein. Yeah. Calvin. Oh Jesus Christ! I just seen... <laughs> you just see the category. No, I just in the the picture, the second <laughs> I know picture. Which one you want. Calvin Phillips' trims. <laughs> Again, a really strong category. I've got to say, the trim is looking sharp today, mate. Do you like it? Yeah. Are, are there any plans to change your trim? Because I, I feel like that is the I've Calvin Phillips yeah, trim. Yeah, I've had it for a while. I've had my best friend's a barber, and he's been telling me to change my hair. Has he? For quite a while now. Are there any plans to go back to this? The firm? No. <laughs> you ain't going back Tell to that. Me about no. that. And um, when we were going in the possession, he just played in the Champions League final. I suppose Liverpool.
there. But I, I, could this, I could do this very politically. <laughs> could you? Yeah. <laughs> It's interesting how this is the one you're the most no, nervous because, about, by the way. Because I'm thinking about if I should do it politically or if I should do it... This has got to be your music taste. My music yeah. taste. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to go... Oh. But oh, if it was I'm a massive Oasis fan. I'm, I'm glad you did it that way around. The debate between the two. Yeah. If, on, it, if it was political. If it was political, she'd go first. Why? Because <laughs> I've seen so many things, you know, like... When people say that they love Taylor Swift. Yeah. All those Taylor Swift fans. Oh, the Swifties. All the Swifties. So what, hang on, what's going on here? What, you can't have Oasis at three. All the Swifties. <laughs> it's going to be... him a lot of attention, so... You just want more followers, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> he wants more followers. That's why I was saying political or not. I could... so you, you basically got to say to Swift over Ipswich Man Ed Sheeran as well. He might be watching this. No, I love this. it. I love it. I'm going to... I'll change. I'll change back. You change back? Yeah, I'm going to change back. Oasis at three. Okay, fine. No, this Swifties is going to second. You can't decide. I love this is your hardest category. Finally, do you want to end the whole piece with a word to the Swifties? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you was going to be first, but I had to, I had to change. But yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to see you, mate. All the best. Nice to see you.